Hi, I'm Connie from Prosperity Finance. Generally speaking, we wouldn't stay in our first home for a very long time because our situation would change. We may have a family, we need more room for them. Or our kids may grow up and they want their own room, they want independence. Or maybe you want to move close to where you work so that you can avoid the traffic. When that occur, um, generally we see people um, rent out the existing home and borrow from the bank to purchase their new home. There's nothing wrong about that. However, you probably can save a lot of money, sometimes it's over 10000 a year, just with a smart structure. What do I mean? Let's put in an example. So here we have a couple, Luke and Jean. So Luke and Jean has an existing family home. It's currently the property worth 820k. And they really like a new property. It's worth 930k. They're looking to buy. Because there's no mortgage against that home, they can easily borrow the entire amount secured against true property. They can borrow 930k, no problem. They come to us, we said, yes, we can help you. However, it probably is a better than what they expected. So firstly, let's look at if we rent that rental property out and every week they receive $600 from the rent income. Now, because there's no home loan, um, the expense is pretty low. So they are just rates, um, insurance and property management and a bit repair and maintenance costs. So they still generate 23K profit. Now, Luke and Jane, they have a good income from their job. Um, so the tax rate is about 33%. Now, based on 33%, they had to pay tax around $7,789. Well, every year pay that money, right? So it's a lot of money um, going out. Well, what we suggest them to do firstly we ask them to go to see a tax accountant and get a good tax structure. And what the accountant suggests that they can simply sell that property, the current home, into a new entity under a company name where Luke and Jen are shareholders. And then that entity is able to borrow 100% of the property value, which is 820K. So they raised 820K against that rental property because the purchase, that property is for investing property. So therefore the interest rates as a result is tax deductible. Now, as a result of 820K investment property loan, they are able to add more cost to that, right? So now the expenses actually gone up from 7,000 to 48,000. The difference is just interest cost from this loan here. Now they still get the same amount of rent, okay? But now they are run into a negative profit. So they made a loss in the rental property. And as a result, roughly they can claim $5,000 tax. You see the difference? One is you have to pay 7,000 tax. The other situation is you receive a tax credit of 5,000. So the net figure is about 13K. It happened every year, year on year, right? You save 13,000. So to complete that transaction, clients still have to borrow 120K, right? But instead of having the entire 930K, for purchasing home, they only borrow 110k. So that's a significant reduction because most of the loan is for purchasing rental property. Do you like this structure or you like this structure, right? It's really obvious. So this is a classic example where, you know, you can get a loan from the bank, but how can you make a better structure, right? So if you are in that situation, you're looking to get a really good advice and save his money, please feel free to contact us. We are more than happy to help you out.
Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.